Alright, so Mad City updated. And, uh... It also appears that... Uh, oh, every weapon now costs cash. And it's so expensive. God. I actually calculated this. And this is at... Uh, it's in... It's on its discounted price right now. And... But pretty much 15% off and in total it costs 31.1 million well there's a 62,000 but it's pretty much at least 3 million to 3.1 million god damn but pretty much you can see that the AK-47 is actually free right here and that all the gun models actually got a pretty significant change and also, for some reason, this uh, M4A1 doesn't make that, sh that much of a sound anymore. Strange. Fun fact though, the snipers actually got their uh, scope thing changed. The UI was changed, as you can see right here. And I think it should look better and overall more clean. I don't know. I'm not the sniper guy over here. Anyways, here are the new weapons. We have the M1 the M249, the Tommy Gun, and the WA-2000. Here, so I just bought the, you know, I bought two of them because I need to test them for reasons very obvious. Oh, look, a grenade is free, apparently. Alright, so I hear a hero outside, so we're gonna test one, either one of these weapons right here. Now, let's try killing him. Oh my god, twin! Oh my god! Well, that just killed him in a few seconds. Damn. All right, now let's test this shotgun real quick. Let's take a look. Oh. Well, that just killed him in two shots. Damn, that, did that just do like 70 damage? Oh my. Oh, wow, this is gonna... I'm gonna get my freaking butt freaking sniped by a bunch of shotguns. Well... M1014s or like Benelli's M4s, I guess. But like, what is this WA2000? I'm curious. This wasn't included in the original like teaser stuff, I guess, like the blog post. So I'm wondering what this thing exactly is. It's, it looks like a sniper, obviously. The icon on the thing over there, the freaking oh my god what is it called the weapon UI you can obviously see that it's a, a sniper icon but what makes it different than the other snipers though I don't really see that much of a difference right now so let's take a look at this hot rod okay 26 oh wow okay 37 damage apparently to the head headshot damage obviously and it's dead an automatic sniper that deals 26 damage all right now for the last weapon which is the tommy gun let's take a look uh wow fast firing but i'm, I'm not so sure that it's gonna be great at long ranges pretty much probably not like a long range weapon i don't know i'm not the guy who de deals with pvp related aspects of the game and as you can tell right now, we're going to check out the new skins that they apparently added. Which is one is like this animated... Oh yeah, look over there. I can see it now. So you're telling me to touch grass. How original. Okay, so this is just the St. Patrick's Day grass skin, I guess. It's animated and costs one million. God, why? And we have animated nebula, which also costs one million. I swear to God, if these are limited, I'm gonna go insane. I do not have a much. I don't have enough cash for this. You're making me go broke, Mad City. And we have these random ornaments and toppers, I guess. I mean, like, I guess they're kind of cool, but I never really use them because I'm not that type of guy to use them. In which we also have this uh, new rim, leaf clovers, I guess. I don't know what these are called again. And also, I guess we have like new colors for the rims, spoilers, and window tints, I guess. Called Shamrock or 10k. Why, why, why is it 10k? It should have just been like 5k, but oh well, I'm not a developer. 
Anyways, now we move on to minor changes, or pretty significant other ones. One is, um, there's now an AK-47 in the guard room for some reason. I guess that's fair for the new players. So pretty much they change a majority of the weapon stats, like, for some reason they made the op like, 95 damage on a headshot. Well, that's completely fair, but oh well, at least it's not gonna give me nightmares, right? Oh well. Anyways, they also adjusted the heist timer and whatnot. And they also added one interesting feature. Shoulder swapping. I'll show you right now, and look at this. Pretty much, you just, like, are able to swap the sides of your uh, viewpoint, I guess. You do it by pressing the V button, and for some reason it says press L on the keyboard, but it's just a visual issue, I guess. Normally, I tell you, like, the entire freaking contents of the blog post, but I'm very sure that you have already seen, like, three YouTubers upload that. Or upload about the blog post and whatnot, so... Here's that to this video. Wait, what did I just say? Oh my god. Anyways, welcome to the end of the video. You can now click off because you just wanted to see the update. Let's go. Thanks for watching.